Hello everyone. Today I want to go through with you our virtual machine lab setup exercise to show you step by step how to make a VM on your computer. Therefore, you'll be able to do all of the exercises in our platform with that. So let's just jump straight into it. So from the dashboard, we go to the lab setup. And then from the lab setup, we'll go to the virtual machine exercise. As, as, as you can see here, we've given a good amount of information as well as the step by step. So if you want to go through and complete this exercise and upload it to get some uh, extra points and a badge to your profile, you can. Um, but we'll go through and we'll set this up to show you how it's done as well. So firstly, the first reference here is for VirtualBox. So that's what we want to download and that's where all of our VMs will run from. So as you can see, you just choose whichever uh, platform package relates to you and download it. And then next in this video, we'll just use the Kali ISO file to run the VM from. So we'll open up this reference and you'll just download it from here. So I've already done this ahead of time, so we don't have to wait for it all to download. So we'll load up VirtualBox, as you can see here, this is the icon for it. And as you can see, I've already got a few VMs, but let's make a new one. So let's go up here, we'll hit new. And we want to call this Kali VM Video 1. Okay. And this is just, this folder here is just where it saves to on your computer. And this is a Linux, and I want to give it this version here. Then we'll go next. And we need to give it some memory size. The recommended amounts are pretty good. We'll go next. And I want to create a virtual hard disk now. So we'll hit create. We'll make it as a virtual box disk image. Next, I like to choose dynamically allocated. Doesn't really matter, whatever you prefer. We'll go next. And uh, here we go. We'll assign eight gigabytes of storage to it. Done. So now what we have to do is assign the ISO file you have um, as the disk for this VM. So what we'll do is go settings. Let's go to storage. And here where it says empty, we want to click on that. And over here, the optical drive, we're going to click the disk. And we want to choose the virtual optical disk file. So this is the ISO file you just downloaded from your browser. So as you can see, I've got all mine loaded here. So let's choose the Kali one. Okay. Now we want to do is connect it to the network. So what we have to do up here is go to file. I'm going to host network manager. So all you have to do is click create here and it will create a VirtualBox host only ethernet adapter. So I've already got one here. So we'll use that. So let's go out of that and we'll go back into settings. And we'll go to network and we want to have it on the NAT network. So depending on what it might already come with, this is what we want it to be attached to. And we'll hit OK. And then we just right click, start, normal start. And there we go. We'll make the a little bit bigger, but as you can see, that's it. And now it's doing all the setup and everything like that. So yeah, that's all you have to do. And that's how simple it is to set up a virtual machine and you just go through the same process for any VM you want, whether it's another Linux one, uh, it's a Windows VM, or if you've got a Mac VM, all the same. And then in your VM, uh, you can do whichever exercises you need to. I uh, hope you really enjoyed this how-to video and I do hope it really helps you and we look forward to seeing all of your submissions from the exercises coming in soon. Uh, thank you.